how are you doing? This is Analysis by Doing. I'm Manu Vasudevan, Data Analyst and Certified AWS Solutions Architect at your service. Welcome to Analysis by Doing, a series of data analysis sessions in which we do hands-on projects analyzing and visualizing data using Amazon Web Services. The target audience is aspiring data analysts and AWS cloud enthusiasts. What good is any knowledge when not put to good use? We will exercise our AWS skills on the terrain of data science. Join in our data analytics journey in the vehicle of Amazon Web Services. Welcome to the session on Payroll Tableau Analysis. We will review our portfolio website before the Payroll Tableau project. Install Tableau Public and LibreOffice in our Analysis EC2 instance. Download a real-world payroll dataset using Tableau Web Connector. Perform munging and wrangling the raw payroll dataset. Analyze and visualize the payroll dataset, creating the following employee demographics, employee expenditure, branch composition, branch expenditure, employee earnings, and then create a payroll summary story and save the visuals as PowerPoint slides. Export the PowerPoint slides as a PDF document, publish the visuals to, and download from the Tableau public website. Update index.html to reference our Tableau payroll report project page. Enable download of tableau.twbx file from our portfolio website. Upload the new payroll analysis project files to the S3 portfolio bucket. We will then review our updated portfolio website after the payroll analysis project. Next, we will stop but not terminate the analysis EC2 instance. Finally, we will perform best practices, review our billing dashboard, and budget alarm. <laughs> to keep us motivated to produce more of such high quality free content, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button below, leave a comment or two, and share this video with your colleagues, friends, and other budding cloud analysts. Hit the bell icon below to actively follow along with the rest of our series. We have created the Employee Demographics Dashboard. Let's work on the Employee Expenditure Dashboard. Back in Tableau, right-click on the worksheet name ChurnPy and select Duplicate. Double-click on Duplicate Worksheet Name, rename it City Expenses, and hit Enter. Drag this tab beyond the Summary Demographics tab. Drag away all fields from the Marks card. Drag away the Employment Type filter. From Marks drop-down, select Bar. Drag field Gross Pay to Rows. Drag field Employment Type to Columns. Drag field employment type to color card. Click on the little arrow in the sum of gross pay pill and select clear table calculation. This will remove the percent values and change them to dollar values. Right click on the legend employment type and select hide card. Press F7 to see the chart in full screen. The one insight I get from this chart is that most of the expenditure is on full-time and part-time employees, very little on contractual labor. Press Windows key Shift S to launch the Windows Snipping tool. Click on the window icon to capture the current full screen. Press F7 again to return to design mode. From the Windows taskbar, click on 
WPS Office. In the PowerPoint presentation, Tableau Payroll Project Reports, insert a blank slide below the appropriate question slide. Paste in the Tableau screen image. Save the updated PowerPoint presentation, Tableau Payroll Project Reports. Press Ctrl and Keys to head over to the last slide. From the end of the last line, hit Enter. Key in the Insight. Most of the expenditure is on full-time and part-time employees, very little on contractual labor. From WPS Office Presentation, Main Menu, click Save. From the Windows taskbar, click on Tableau. Right-click on the worksheet name and select Duplicate. Double-click on Duplicate Worksheet Name. Rename it City Remunerations and hit Enter. Drag away all fields from the Marks card. Drag away all fields from the rows and columns. Drag field measure values to rows. Drag field measure names to columns. Right-click on Measure Names in the Filter card. Select Edit Filter. In Filter window, click None. Check all fields, All Other Pay, Benefit Pay, City Retirement Contributions, Overtime Pay, and Regular Pay. Click OK. Drag field Employment Type to the Color Guard. Click on Show Hide Cards icon in the toolbar. Select Legends and check Color Legend for Employment Type. Click on the Label card inside Marks card. Check Show Mark Labels. Click outside the pop-up window. Right-click on a thin bar slab. Select Mark Labels and choose to Always Show. Right-click Measure Names and select Sort. In Sort pop-up, from Sort by drop-down, choose Manual. Click on City Retirement Contributions and press Move to Bottom icon. Click on Benefit Pay and press Move to Bottom icon. Click on Regular Pay and press Move to Top icon. Click on All Other Pay and press Move Down icon. Close the sort pop-up. Press F7 to see the chart in full screen. The one insight I get from this chart is that payments to part-time employees are dwarfed by the payments to salaried employees, but some part-time employees get benefits. Press Windows key, Shift, and S to launch the Windows Snipping Tool. Click on the window icon to capture the current full screen. Press F7 again to return to design mode. From the Windows taskbar, click on WPS Office. In the PowerPoint presentation, Tableau Payroll Project Reports, insert a blank slide below the appropriate question slide. Paste in the Tableau screen image. Save the updated PowerPoint presentation, Tableau Payroll Project Reports. Press Ctrl and Keys to head over to the last slide.
From the end of the last line, hit enter. Key in the insight. Payments to part-time employees are dwarfed by the payments to salaried employees, but some part-time employees get benefits. From WPS Office Presentation Main Menu, click Save. From WPS Office Presentation Main Menu, click Exit. Close WPS Office. Tableau. Right-click on the worksheet name and select Duplicate. Double-click on Duplicate Worksheet Name. Rename it Expense Heat and hit Enter. Remove field Employment Type from the Marks card. Remove field Measure Values from Rows. And drag away Measure Names Pill from Columns. Drag away Measure Names from the Filter card. Drag away measure names from the marks card. Drag the field gender to rows. Drag the field ethnicity to rows. In the chart pane, expand the ethnicity column so that all ethnic names are visible. From Marks drop-down, choose Automatic. Drag field Gross Pay to Marks Text Card. From the top menu, click on Analysis, select Percentage of, and choose None. Drag field Employment Type to Columns. Drag field Gross Pay to Marks Color Card. From Marks drop-down, choose Square. Click on the Marks Color Card. Click on Edit Colors. From the Palette drop-down, choose Green. Click OK to close the Edit Colors pop-up. Click on the down arrow besides the Sum of Gross Pay legend and select Hide Card. Press F7 to see the chart in full screen. The one insight I get from this chart is that although female blacks outnumber female Caucasians among full-time employees, the city spends comparatively more via remunerations on female Caucasians. Press Windows key, Shift and S to launch the Windows Snipping tool. Click on the window icon to capture the current full screen. Press F7 again to return to design mode. From the Windows taskbar, click on WPS Office. Double click on the PowerPoint Presentation Tableau Payroll Project Reports. In the PowerPoint Presentation Tableau Payroll Project Reports, insert a blank slide below the appropriate question slide. Paste in the Tableau screen image. Save the updated PowerPoint presentation, Tableau Payroll Project Reports. Press Control and Keys to head over to the last slide. From the end of the last line, hit Enter. Key in the Insight. Although female blacks outnumber female Caucasians among full-time employees, the city spends comparatively more via remunerations on female Caucasians. From WPS Office Presentation Main Menu, click Save. From the Windows Taskbar, click on Tableau. Right-click on the worksheet name and select Duplicate. Double-click and name this worksheet Hiring and Paying Branches. Inside the Hiring and Paying Branches worksheet, drag away all pills from rows. 
drag away all fields from columns. Empty the marks card too. From the marks drop down, select automatic. Drag the number of employees field into rows. Drag the field department to columns. Right click on the department pill and select sort. In the sort dialog box, under sort by, select field. Under sort order, choose descending. In the field name drop down, select field number of employees. Close the sort dialog box. In the marks drop down, select line. Drag field gross pay to rows beside number of employees. Right click on the Y axis. Select dual axis. In the marks card, select all. Click on the labels card. Select show mark labels. Click on sum of gross pay bar in the marks card. Click on the label card. Uncheck show mark labels. Right click on measure names legend. Choose edit colors. Select gross pay and click on green. Select number of employees and click on brown. Click OK. On the green line, right click on the fire branch. Select annotate, then mark. In the edit annotation text area, key in. These green peaks show that the fire branch and city attorney branch pay out much higher in salaries than their neighboring branches, which hire about the same numbers. Highlight the entire text. From the font drop-down, select font Tableau Semi-Bold. Click on the bold icon. Then click OK. Click on the annotation and drag it to the far right. Right click on the annotation and select Format. In the Format Annotation pane that opened up in the far left, click on Shading drop down and choose a peach color. Lower the percent slider to 28%. Click on the border drop down. Select the dashed line. Select black color. Then click outside the border dialog box. From the corners drop down, choose very rounded. Click on the line drop down. Select the line. Select black color. For line end, choose arrow. Drag the end size slider all the way right. Close the format annotation pane. On the green line, right click on the city attorney branch. Select annotate, then mark. In the Edit Annotation text area, delete everything, then click OK. Click on the annotation and drag it to the end of the previous annotation. Right-click on the annotation and select Format. In the Format Annotation pane that opened up in the far left, click on Shading drop-down and choose None. Then click outside the shading dialog box. Click on the line drop down. Select the line. Select black color. Click outside the pop up box. For line end, choose Arrow. Drag the end size slider all the way right. Close the format annotation pane. On the green line, 
right click on the Recreation and Parks branch. Select Annotate, then Mark. In the Edit Annotation text area, key in. This green valley shows that the Recreation and Parks branch pays out much lower in salaries than its immediate neighbor branch, Airports, while hiring twice as many employees. Highlight the entire text. From the Font drop-down, select Font, Tableau, Semi-Bold. Click on the Bold icon. Then click OK. Click on the annotation and drag it to the very top. Right-click on the annotation and select Format. In the Format Annotation pane that opened up in the far left, click on Shading drop-down and choose a peach color. Lower the percent slider to 28%. Then click outside the Shading dialog box. Click on the Border drop-down. Select the dashed line. Then select Black color. Then, click outside the border dialog box. From the Corners drop-down, choose Very Rounded. Click on the Line drop-down. Select the Line. Select Black Color. Click outside the box. For Line End, choose Arrow. Drag the End Size slider all the way right. Close the Format Annotation pane. Press F7 to see the chart in full screen. The one insight I get from this chart is that some branches like Recreation and Parks and Public Works Sanitation hire more employees but pay less on average compared to branches like Fire and City Attorney. Press Windows key, Shift and S to launch the Windows Snipping tool. Click on the window icon to capture the current full screen. Press F7 again to return to design mode. From the Windows taskbar, click on WPS Office. Double-click on the PowerPoint presentation Tableau Payroll Project Reports. Insert a blank slide below the appropriate question slide. Save the updated PowerPoint presentation Tableau Payroll Project Reports. Press Ctrl and Keys to head over to the last slide. From the end of the last line, hit Enter. Key in the insight. Some branches like Recreation and Parks and Public Works Sanitation hire more employees but pay less on average compared to branches like Fire and City Attorney. From WPS Office Presentation Main Menu, click Save. Close the WPS application. Right-click on the worksheet named City Remunerations and select Duplicate. Double-click on Duplicate Worksheet Name. Rename it Branch Spend and hit Enter. Drag this worksheet beyond hiring and paying branches. Drag away measure names from the columns. Drag away measure values from the rows. Drag away employment type from the marks area. Drag away measure names from the filters. Drag away measure names from the marks area. Drag department to columns. Drag gross pay to rows. From the top main menu, click on the analysis drop down. For percentage of, choose none. Right click on department and select sort. In the Sort dialog box, in the Sort by drop-down, select Field. Click the Descending Radio button. Close the Sort dialog box. Drag Department to the color card. 
expand the legend space so that names don't get cut off. Click on the label card. In the alignment pop-up, under Direction, Automatic, select the second upward facing A. Then click outside the boxes. Right click on the Y axis and select Format. In the Format pane, under Numbers, select Number Custom. On the right hand side, under Display Units, select Millions. Make decimal places zero. Click outside the box. Close the Format pane. Press F7 to see the chart in full screen. The one insight I get from this chart is that, like a Pareto chart, the top handful of branches account for the major share of the city's expenditure. Press Windows key, Shift, and S to launch the Windows Snipping tool. Click on the window icon to capture the current full screen. Press F7 again to return to design mode. From the Windows taskbar, click on WPS Office. Double click on the PowerPoint presentation, Tableau Payroll Project Reports. Insert a blank slide below the appropriate question slide. Paste in the Tableau screen image. Save the updated PowerPoint presentation, Tableau Payroll Project Reports. Press Control and Keys to head over to the last slide. From the end of the last line, hit Enter. Key in the Insight. Like a Pareto chart, the top handful of branches account for the major share of the city's expenditure. From WPS Office Presentation, Main Menu, click Save. Close the WPS application. Back in Tableau, click on the new dashboard icon. Double click and rename it as Summary Employee Expenditure. And hit Enter. In the Dashboard pane, under the Size drop down, choose Range, then Automatic. In the bottom left, click on Tiled Placements. Double click on Worksheet Expense Heat. Double click on Worksheet City Expenses. Double click on Worksheet City Remunerations. Double click on Worksheet Branch Spend. Click on Legend Employment Type and close it. Click on Legend Department and close it. Extend the Branch Spend Worksheet upwards, shortening the City Expenses tile. In the City Expenses tile, click on the bar for full-time mail. Note that no other tile in the dashboard is affected. Click on the same spot again to release the highlight. Click on the filter icon in the top edge to use this tile as a filter. Click on the same bar again. Note that all other charts in the dashboard get filtered to full time mail. Click on the same spot again to release all charts to normal. Click on the tile Expense Heat. Click on the little arrow in the top right edge. From the drop down, click on Ignore Actions. In the City Expenses tile, click on the bar for Full-Time Mail. Note that Expense Heat tile is unaffected by the Full-Time Mail filter. Click on the tile City Remuneration. Click on the filter icon in the top edge to use elements in this tile as a filter. Click on the bar Overtime Pay. Note how all other charts except Expense Heat get filtered by Overtime Pay amount. Click on the same spot again to release all charts to normal. Click on the tile Branch Spend. Click on the filter icon in the top edge to use elements in this tile as a filter. Click on the bar Water and Power. 
Note how all the other charts except expense heat get filtered by water and power amount. Click on the same spot again to release all charts to normal. Press F7 to see the chart in full screen. Press Windows key, Shift, and S to launch the Windows Snipping tool. Click on the window icon to capture the current full screen. Press F7 again to return to design mode. From the Windows taskbar, click on WPS Office. Double click on the PowerPoint presentation Tableau Payroll Project Reports. In the PowerPoint presentation, Tableau Payroll Project Reports, insert a blank slide below the appropriate question slide. Paste in the Tableau screen image. Save the updated PowerPoint presentation, Tableau Payroll Project Reports. View the questions that we need to answer next. City Branch Composition which branches hire more employees? Which branches hire more full-time employees? Which branches hire more hourly wages employees? Which branches hire more women? Which branches are more ethnically diverse? From the WPS Office Presentation main menu, click Exit. Close the WPS application. We have created the Employee Expenditure Dashboard. Let's start working on the Branch Composition Dashboard. To keep us motivated to produce more of such high quality free content, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button below, leave a comment or two, and share this video with your colleagues, friends, and other budding cloud analysts. Hit the bell icon below to actively follow along with the rest of our series.